Two years ago, I was stuck in a wheelchair, staring down at my mangled leg, wondering if I'd ever be able to go on a walk with my wife again, or play games with my kids in the yard. Putting my helmet back on was the farthest thing from my mind. I just kept asking myself, all this for a stupid game? But then, someone did something that changed my recovery completely. He put a football back in my hands. I don't know what it was, but all of a sudden, I felt stronger, more driven, and what once seemed impossible began to come into focus. And the truth is, over the course of my life, that's what this game has done for me. I was a skinny, no-name recruit who wasn't even supposed to play in college, let alone go to New York as a Heisman finalist, or be the first one to have his name called on draft night. And then, on a routine play, I almost lost everything. But football wouldn't let me give up. Because no, this isn't just a game. It's not just what happens between those white lines on a Sunday afternoon. It's about the challenges and the commitment they require. It's about how hard and how far you can push yourself. It's about the bond between those 53 guys in the locker room and everybody else in the organization. It's about fully committing yourself to something bigger. And most of all, it's about you. So to everyone out there, whether you're a part of Niner Nation, the Chiefs Kingdom, or the Burgundy and Gold, I thank you. To all the men I had the privilege of standing with and playing alongside, thank you. I want to say thank you for believing in me. And thank you for helping me believe in myself and in the impossible. And here we go. Wow. Folks, Alex Smith for the first time since... Because even though I've got plenty of snaps left in me, after 16 years of giving this game everything I've got, I can't wait to see what else is possible. But first, I'm going to take a little time to enjoy a few of those walks with my wife, and my kids have no idea what's coming for them in the backyard. Obviously a great player. Um, dealt with adversity throughout his career and always seemed to come on come on top and uh, to be the, be the better from it. And uh, someone that... He's dealt with different coaches. He's dealt with different systems, and, he, and he's always had success. And then, obviously, with the injury that he had, uh, to be able to come back and lead his team into the playoffs, it shows the type of man that he is, the type of team team player that he is. And and uh, I'm just uh, just grateful for the time that I had with him that, that really developed me to be the quarterback that I am today. 